Who does Mancini start with in Poland tonight? Ned Bolting is pitch side for us in Poznan. Ned. Well, it's a curiously ill at ease, Roberto Mancini, who's arrived here in Poznan, no doubt fully aware of the welter of negative stories that seem to surround his tenure at the moment. Having said that, not much went for him last night. Uh, although they'd never intended to come here and train, he did, however, br bring the entire squad of players down to the ground to have a look at the pitch, only to find out when he got here that Poznan was still training on it and they weren't allowed anywhere near. So all they could do was have a quick look at the dressing room, get back on the bus and disappear. All that is, except for Mancini and Milner, who was designated to do the press conference. Now, Mancini by this stage was fully irritated and wanted to just get the press conference done and dusted, but had to wait until Muggins here had interviewed James Milner. His patience lasted about five minutes before he opened the door and broke up the interview. But before we were so rudely interrupted, this is what James Milner had to tell me about those now infamous player bust-ups. Um, there's a lot of media attention around the club, like there obviously is. There's people who want to knock you down as a club, as, a, as individuals, as a team. and. Um, yeah, there's obviously going to be things said in the press, there's going to be people saying things about us, but it's down to us to stick together and get on with it, you know. Um, every single change room up and down the country, every single week of the season, you'll have people who are having arguments and things like that. But it's about wanting to win the game, and, you know, I think I'd be a bit worried if there wasn't, you know. We go out on the field to win, everyone's desperate to do that, and you're going to have differences of opinion and things like that. As soon as you step off the field, that's, that's it over, you know. We're a team again, we're friends again. It's, it's left out there, and I think it's a good thing. shows the hunger and desire that we want to win, um, that people do say things to each other, and it's important that we take, take the criticism and, and what's been said and, and, and improve from it. We realise it's going to take time. There's a lot of new faces in the club, um, new things being tried. You know, we want nowhere we want to go as a club and as a team, and it, it will take time to get there. But it's it's down to us to get there as fast as possible by pulling together as a team and, and working very hard on the training field, which we are doing. We started pretty well. We've had a couple of poor results, but you know, every team has poor results. It's how you. The sign of a good team is how you bounce back from, from those games and the, the games when things don't go so well and how you learn from those results and it's down to us to put it right. We're very, very hungry to succeed and, and you know, I'm desperate to win trophies, that's why I come to the club. I'm, I'm chomping at the bit and uh, you know, with the hunger and desire and the ability that we have at the, the, the club, um, hopefully we can do it. We will improve, it's down to us to hopefully get there as soon as possible. Well, after that, James Milner was accompanied by Roberto Mancini into that press conference uh, where almost every question seemed to be about morale and spirit within the dressing room and whether or not the players still backed Mancini. Uh, the manager himself said very little. He glanced occasionally at his watch and sat there fully wrapped in his blue and white scarf despite the stifling temperatures in the press conference room. Incidentally, uh, the manager will be joining me very shortly, we hope, for a word on his team tonight.